Yes. What can I do for you? Hmm? There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Honest pay for honest work. You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it comes from my farm. Good to have you by my side, friend. I need reliable people around. I own the Pelagia farm just outside the city walls. Nimriel takes good care of things for me. I had my years of war and fighting. Senseless. All of it. All I want now is a, a patch of good soil. Need something? Yes? Need a ride? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. You'll want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Mm hmm. We can take you to any of the hold capitals. See ya. My carriage is the safest way to travel. All right, then. Yes? See ya. Need something? See ya. Clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. But, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Mane's turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again Grey Mane or Battleborn? Then I say, well met, friend. I could tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Long live the Empire. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Damn those Grey Manes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Avelstein Grey Mane and I were best friends as children. If I see that traitor again, I'll throw him in jail myself. The cold, frightening truth is that the Empire represents progress. Anyone who fears progress is a coward. The Stormcloaks are content to live in the past forever. No wonder the Provincials think we're all baseless savages. Need something? Yeah?
We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Greymane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Then I say, well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Long live the Empire. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Applestein Greymane and I were best friends as children. If I see that traitor again, I'll throw him in jail myself. The cold, frightening truth is that the Empire represents progress. Anyone who fears progress is a coward. The storm cloaks are content to live in the past forever. No wonder the provincials think we're all baseless savages. Hmm? Yes? sneak out at night and try to tip over the big ox in the gray man's yard. And me and Mila used to climb up on the roof of Dragon's Reach and look for bird's eggs. But I don't do that stuff anymore. Father keeps catching me and then I get in trouble. Bye. My friend Olava, the seer, she says things will get better for me once I start sticking up for myself. Until next time. I can't fight. Not even a little bit. My family thinks I'm a little milk drinker. Mm-hmm. Hi there. Yes, Wraith bullies me all the time. All the elders think I'm a milk drinker because I can't fight. Nobody understands. If you can get Wraith to leave me alone, I'll be your best friend. Forever. I'll, I'll pay you too. My whole life savings. Two septums. Oh, good. She'll listen to you. I just know it. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Mm-hmm. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Sapphire! Wait, I... I just want to go home and read. Nothing like a good adventure or romance to lose yourself in. I import books whenever I can. Most Nord works are too bawdy and violent for my tastes. My daughter Braith says I read too much. Play with me, mother. Girls need to learn how to take care of themselves. Oh. Really, I wish my girl would read more. It would certainly keep her out of all those fights. If you'll excuse me, I really just want to get home. Make it quick. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Are you married? You look the type. 
Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Here you stand, talking to a married woman. Why? Am I that interesting? Or perhaps there are other things on your mind. Men are all alike. I ran to Hammerfell. They care only for war and politics and treat their women like... Yes? Need something? You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Hm. No, friend. That I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Right then. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Mm-hmm. My wife's a good woman. She can be a little hard-headed sometimes, but I love her just the same. Good day. What do you need? All right, then. Yes? All right, then. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Do you like horses? You should visit the stables. I own them, you see. And our stock is excellent. My friend Maven and I... Have you met Maven in Riften? Do you get to the we Cloud know District very often? This world? Oh, what am I saying? Know the place of course of you don't. Too. Well, hello. Years, but I earned my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. Very successful business, obviously. I actually advise the Jarl on political matters. My input is invaluable, of course. But this is all probably a bit over your head. Make it quick. Speak. Come to chat with an old... Hmm? Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah. These Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Yeah, it's got to... Worst thing is, nobody wants them. Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And a Nord knows a liar when she sees one. Farewell. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. See you. They say there's nothing a Nord woman can't do if she puts her mind to it. Until next time. We Nords are strong, and we're as tough as stone. But I'll bet you didn't know there's some of us with a good head for business, too. All right, then. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Until next time. There's some company I certainly prefer over others. Have you met Mikhail? The most amazing bard I've ever heard. All right, then. Need something? <laughs>
Oh, did you need something? I'd better get going. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Neela. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the Bannered Mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. <laughs> if you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Thanks for the business. Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. All right then. I I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Mm hmm. I hope you're looking at me like that because you want to buy something. Mm hmm. Need something? Good day. Do what you, do you know need? there are some fruits that actually All right, grow then. better in the cold weather? You'd be surprised how much work it is selling things at a stall. It's not all standing around and chatting. Yes? Hmm? The finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Oh yes, hunting is my great passion. That's why my brother and I opened a shop to sell hunting supplies. It's the drunken huntsman down by the main gate. He tends the store, and I've got this stall. Good hunting. My God, they be twice as fresh. Do you hunt? The plains outside White Run are ripe with game. Remember, I've got the freshest. Certainly, I'll be sure to bring some back for you the next time I go hunting. Make it quick, and there might be a bowl of hot stew in it for you. What can I do for you? Right. Till next time. You should try the venison. It's delicious. I'd better get going. Oh, did you need something? All right, then. Need something. Until next time. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge up at Yorvaskar. The Companion's Mead Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Holds. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battle-borns. Head up the steps from the market and look to your right. Can't miss it. <laughs> My husband, you should ask. Well, that and maybe. Don't even get me started on that lot. <laughs> they put on airs like there's something special. Oh, sure, they've got money, but they ain't got a shred of honor between them. Gray Mane. <laughs> now that's a name fills you with pride. We've got roots in White Room, we've got history. You take care of yourself now. Come see my collection of Grey Mane's finest trinkets. You'll not find their like in all Tamriel. If you need any jewelry, just let me know. Shiny trinkets for your good lady. All crafted by the great Aorland Grey Mane himself. Take care now. My Aorland is the finest blacksmith in Skyrim, and that's not just a wife's boasting. Until next time. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. All right then. I can't stand those braggart battleborns. They think they're the god's gift to Whiterun. 
Until next time. Aeor, and I, we both miss our son terribly. Poor old. He went missing fighting the Imperials. Hmm. Everyone thinks Thorold is dead, but not me. I know my boy is alive out there, somewhere. Take care now. Yes? Hmm. Hmm. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Run. My boys will keep you safe, don't you worry. You're not thinking of causing trouble here in this beautiful city now, are you? Because I'd strongly advise against such foolishness. Yes? What is it? Yes? What is it? Yes? What? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl's steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. Thanks. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Until next time. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. All right then. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Mm hmm You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor, and leave it at that. I'll take my leave, then. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Mm-hmm. Out with it. All right, then. I'm waiting. Until next... Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Adrian at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her. War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? That'll be the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgruf's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Good doing business with you. We've got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. You look like maybe you need a new weapon. Something big, perhaps? An axe, maybe? Or a great sword? Mm-hmm. Most of our weapons were crafted by Adrian Abenici. My woman's an artist, is what she is. All right, then. Crush, clobber, slash, or slice. We got a weapon for any occasion. Until next time. Need something? Until next time. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? 
I miss the days when the Grey Manes and Battleborns got along. Ever since the war started, we've been at each other's throats. There's nothing a man can do that I can't do better, whether it's serving drinks or slaying trolls. The daughters of this land are just as strong and loyal as its men. You wouldn't know it now, but the Grey Manes and Battleborns were once fast friends. Oh, did you need something? Yes. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. They say I'm hit by a dragon. When the word comes here, we'll be ready. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor the passing of time make it right. Evgir Onslaught has come at last. The season unending. War without end. What can you believe those pathetic gray manes still show their face in public? There was love between our families. For generations. Now there is only enmity. Yes? Make it quick. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial Machine. a lot of steel to shape. The Skyforge? I, my clan fathers, have worked it since the first Grey Mains came to Whiterun. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. You blind, boy? I'm a blacksmith. Any halfwit could see that. By Izmir, are you thick or just too new to know better? The Companions are the oldest, most honored band of warriors in Skyrim. White One was built around their hall, Yorvaska. Don't reckon they could use you, but stranger things have happened. Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The Companions need the best, so they come to me. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm We done? I ain't much for talking. I'll take my leave then. Why are you still staring at me? I'll take my leave then. All right then. Until next time. Met kinsman, what brings you to White Run? Truly? Huh. I sure this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of White Run, and can set you on the path. Aye, that I do. Half all my life, we Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Maids. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall, your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in me. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. 
May your sword be sharp, and your tongue sharper. Well met, kinsman. Keep a song in your heart, and a blade in your boot. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? Everyone is obsessed with death. Good day. You tried People have work? forgotten humor, poetry, and romance. I love a good sword fight as much as the next man. But there's more to life. Good day. It's my desire to enter the Bard's College. My parents are hesitant, but I pray they let me attend. All right, then. All I want is to escape from this madness. And if Ophina can come with me, all the better. But I've probably said too much. I... Yes? Mm-hmm. I... I... In each of us, the Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Battleborn is a name out of legend, sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For Clan Battleborn, they cry in the main tones. First into the fray, and last to quit their ale. We've got honor, wealth, and titles too. Aye, and bucks of women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now if that don't answer your question, then no words will. Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and, depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that. But it's one thing to take pride in your lineage, and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. Money, you laggard. What else? It always comes down to coin. The Grey Manes have deep roots in White Run, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> and Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. What have they got to show for it? Beggar's rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. You watch yourself out there. Keep your eyes open for those storm cloaked dogs, eh? I'm as much a Nord as the next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the past like those gray manes. Mm -hmm. Your little like gray manes are stubborn fools. Our friendship ended when he turned his back on the Emperor. Until next time, Clan Battleborn's got a proud lineage in Whiterun. But unlike the Grey Maids, we've also got wealth. All right. My blood and days might be over, but my son Idolif is out there fighting for Skyrim. Fighting for the Empire! Ha! Mm-hmm. Yes. Mains to oblivion. They Until next time, folks. They'll get what's Let's hear it. Until next time. In each of us. I ain't done nothing. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Well, that all depends on you now, doesn't it? Sure, whatever. 
My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Bye now. What? Why are you looking at me? Yeah, yeah. That Heimsker's crazy. Him and his tall Catalos. We should just shut up. Until next time. Need something? Yeah, yeah. What are you staring at? All right, then. Need something? Hmm, hmm. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the Restoration School, but... something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Pardon me. But do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Mm-hmm. I have several elixirs for sale. Good day. Maybe a hardy Nord like you doesn't need a cure-all, huh? What about an invisibility potion? Until next time. Yes? Farewell. What do you need? Until next time. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my Thorold? <laughs> Do you believe this old hat? I don't suppose you're going to buy something this time? Holding Just him? Just what? what are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. Face it, Cal. If they do, your stupid son is dead. Something for once. He died a storm cloak trace. You, and you, God you no best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Just one more thing the Grey Manes want to blame on others. It's not my fault they turned their backs on the Empire, or their mule of a son raised arms against it. And yet, they want to heap the fault on my family's good name? Ah. You watch yourself out there. Damn those Greymates to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, and they'll get what's coming to them. More bad blood between the houses. Fralia is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. Long live the Empire. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story.
Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Do come back. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Remember, I'll give you the best deals and I try and You just let me know what you need. I am at your beck and call. Till next time. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. All right, then. I know what you're thinking. This Bellathor, how could he part with such magnificent treasures? Mm -hmm. I yes? work for Bellathor. The general goods store. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you need something? Go, you're not wanted mm -hmm. here. Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those sorts don't even have a ward. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. So have you spoken to that man from the Bard's College? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? No, Big yet. tree, all burnt but up, in the middle of the Wind District? Heaven. It's oh, part of the Temple of Kinaret. Oh, People want Tanika to do something about it, go. but I don't know it's what they expect. You on this earth. You think a few miles can truly keep Need anything else? Just let me know. Forget about me the what can I get you? Get I think I've got some mugs need scrubbing. Hungry, baby. tired, or just plain thirsty? I plan. Now I suppose yeah? you'll never leave. Mm. Harlot. Yes. Honest gold for honest work. All right then. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. I need something? Until next time. I ain't done nothing. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. The guards in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Commander Caius. <laughs> Walks around Dragon's Reach like a preening rooster. I could do his job blindfolded. Come need by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got it. something you need. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Now please, no more questions. 
If you need more food or drink, speak to Hulda. If there's nothing else, I have work to do. Mind your manners and pay your bills, and you'll always be welcome. It's been a pleasure. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Yes? Mm-hmm. Don't even think about it. <laughs> I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. What? Yes, Why are you looking at me? Don't forget to polish those glasses. Well, would you look at that? Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here, take this here healing potion. I, uh, found it in the temple. Oh. Sure, whatever. I ain't done nothing. Not anymore. Thanks to you, friend. Bye now. Hey, keep your hands to yourself. Yes. Yes. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. There's a whole college up in Solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. I want to see you when you're done. Some parting advice? Women? I can't. Oh, not tonight. Summits. I need to go home. I swear my father is starting to suspect something. That's your imagination running wild. Nobody knows how we feel about each other. Don't talk about my father like that, John. And the answer's still no. But tomorrow, definitely. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Yeah, take care of yourself. I don't have much of a reputation in Skyrim yet, but I'm working on that. One sweet lady at a time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. No doubt they still tell tales of Mikhail and his sweet songs across Cyrodiil, where last I traveled. I'd better get going. Need something? I enjoy steady patronage in the Bannered Mare. I do hope you'll watch me perform. Until next time. Hmm. All right, then. Need something? Mm-hmm. Mister, could you spare a coin? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's... it's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... From the Bard's College. Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. a few miles can truly keep us apart? You mean All right, you won't then. Forget about me the moment You're I'm the out best. of sight. Can you be my Some father? Nice old rich husband. Until next time. And babies. Just one gold, please. Master plan. Now I suppose mm -hmm. you'll never leave. I'm so hungry. This is an old. Until next time. Staunch protectors. Just one you gold, please. please. Drink to our youth. Bye. Today's I'm so gone. hungry. The age of Until next time. Is just about done. Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. 
After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Thank you very much for your business. You try Hello, Fred. Work? In the market for some hunting supplies? Farewell. Hagraven or Horker, it matters not. We've got the arrows to fell any game. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sometimes so I what miss can the I get soldier's you? life. When I hold my now, if you'll my excuse arms. me. I know I made the right choice. Make it quick. All right, then. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest I'll fee, happy to I'll make you great like art for you. I am an artisan, painting in strokes of blood red upon the canvas of life. But yes, I will take coin to fight at your side. After all, where is the value in creating art if there is nobody left alive to see it? I can tell you're not if you change your mind, seek me out here. Meet your hunting needs. I know nothing of fear and nothing of remorse. Pay my fee, and together we will vanquish any foe. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. Death is my art, and like all artists, I seek a patron. For a mere handful of gold, I will follow you into any danger. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. I am a lethal instrument, yours to command for a modest sum. I suggest you hire me before one of your enemies does. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. Yes, Sarah? Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. 